winter caps your wardrobe. 14 style tips to create that perfect classic closet. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my lovely little space on the internet. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video, like the title suggests, I'm going to be talking you through how to create that perfect winter caps your wardrobe with 14 different style tips of how you can keep your looks looking really elevated and chic all winter long. Now I know these winter months can be a little bit tricky with your styling because you're kind of torn between practicality and style. But I'm here to show you today how you absolutely don't have to sacrifice in the stylish stakes to look chic and elevated when it's really cold outside. So let's begin. Style tip one. So a great style tip in winter but also in summer and spring too actually is to think about changing just one thing within your look to help it feel so much more fresh and updated for the season ahead. So if you think about a base outfit or a typical outfit that you tend to reach for again and again. So for me it would be something like a nice pair of jeans, a lovely lovely blouse or a shirt and finishing with a blazer over the top. That's probably quite a go-to look for me. Obviously while it's freezing cold outside it's not really going to work. So I'll use that style tip of changing one thing. I'm going to get rid of the blouse and add in a weather appropriate roll neck instead. Now this theory would work with lots of different combinations. It doesn't have to be this outfit idea but this style tip can be translated with lots of different looks. It's just that idea of changing one element within your favorite or your go-to outfits that can not only make it feel really up to date but also more appropriate for the weather outside. Style tip two. Now lots of us already know about the wrong bag theory but if you're not aware of that it's about using a really contrasting handbag within an outfit idea that's quite unexpected to make that really lovely juxtaposition. Well this particular style tip and theory of getting dressed could absolutely work with your shoes as well. So take this outfit idea for example I'm just simply wearing a pair of favorite jeans and then I've got my lovely jumper over the top. Obviously this is the sort of thing I could absolutely wear with trainers or actually the ankle boots that I'm wearing today. But thinking of this wrong shoe theory, I added something a little bit unexpected with a pop of pink with my shoes. By mixing them in and having that contrast of something quite elevated and obviously evening wear added into quite a casual outfit, I'm just wearing my jeans and my jumper, that's an unexpected twist in itself. And then on top of that, you've got that brilliant pop of pink as a contrasting color. It's one of those looks that shouldn't work, but I think it really, really does. And it's absolutely the sort of thing I would probably wear in the evening time. And as a quick side note to that particular outfit idea if you did want to elevate it even further and perhaps make it even more of an out out kind of outfit I would probably layer something like a black blazer over the top just to really finish it off but the idea of mixing in something a little bit unexpected I really like that style tip just a quick mention if you're not already subscribed and you're enjoying this video I would be very very grateful if you'd like to do so I have added a link to that in the description box below style tip three so thinking about adding in those cozy fabrics into your own winter caps your wardrobe. Obviously this can be quite easily done with knitwear, you could go with a whole host of different yarns. I particularly like adding in merino, find that's really gentle against my own skin and then sometimes I will deliberately opt for 100% cotton instead as well actually. Just for when I get a little bit itchy with all the mohairs or the cashmere I can then alternate between the cottons and those kind of knits. Another idea would obviously be to go for something super super cozy like a little bit of shirling. Um, I am particularly particularly chuffed with this jacket. I think I've told you a few different times in my videos, but from a texture point of view, it's really nice to have something a little bit different in my own winter capsule. So definitely reaching for that one a lot. Now, another idea that you might not have thought of, but definitely worth mentioning would of course be adding velvet into the mix. And we often think about velvet solely at Christmas time. And I think it's, it's probably one of my absolute favorite fabrics. I think it's so rich and luxurious looking and feels that way too, but it's a shame to just save it for one month of the year. So I have this absolutely stunning suit which feels amazing to wear. It's giving a nod to some of the fashion trends but with a little bit of a 70s kind of twist. Definitely my cup of tea but it's also incorporating lots of different textures into the mix and those trousers or that blazer for instance could easily mix and match with lots of the other pieces I've already got in my capsule wardrobe. Style tip four. Now when creating your own winter capsule wardrobe it's important to remember to have a balance within your own 
pieces. And what I mean by that is I often hear from people saying, oh, I've added way too many work outfits and I haven't got enough items to go out in, or I've got work, but I haven't got daytime. So it's about making sure you've got a balance of say four items specifically for work, four items for everyday wear, and even better if they cross over and can mix and match with each other, then you know you're creating a really good capsule wardrobe. So for instance, this is one of my favorite suit combinations. It's not actually a suit, but I wear it as a suit. So I've paired those lovely gray tailored trousers with one of my favorite gray blazers. And then I've added, did I wear my green shirt? I don't think I did. Hold on a second, I wore my white shirt one minute. But as it happens, you could equally wear that gray suit with the bottle green. I think that would look really nice. So styling that gray suit with my white shirt underneath, it's obviously very office kind of workwear style. So that would tick a box for my capsule wardrobe. And then taking those same tailored pair of trousers, which I absolutely love from a fit and shape point of view, and I've just paired them with one of my favorite cotton knits that I was talking about before, actually. This is a bit of a go-to for me in winter time. I've got it in the navy, I've got it in the accrue and I've also got it in the deep caramel as well but again it's a little bit like creating that contrast that mixture with those tailored trousers and something quite chilled out on my top half and then equally it's quite dressed down with my trainers on my feet so it's really important to remember that you tick all those different boxes that you need for your real life in your capsule wardrobe and as you'll have seen throughout this footage you absolutely don't need to have a 50 60 piece wardrobe by choosing the right pieces you can easily get away with a much smaller collection that's going to mix and match together. Style tip five. Now creating that really timeless but classic winter capsule wardrobe is all about having a really good variety of different pieces. I know it's really tempting, but forcing yourself to not overbuy in one particular area or on the flip side of that, having too many styles of the same thing. Having a few pieces in a range of styles, colors and fit is always a much better way to keep a variety of looks. And of course, on top of that, reduce any clutter. So something here for a non g enthusiast or on the flip side of that actually if you're someone like me and your go-to is to reach for the jeans try and force yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone and have something a little bit different in the mix and something that will equally mix and match with those other tops and jumpers that you've picked for your capsule wardrobe so I've gone with this high-waisted long wool pair of trousers in the soft pink the shade of pink really fits in with my very neutral color palette that I tend to stick to with my own wardrobe while at the same time being something a little bit different and it's having that variety of different types of trousers to be able to reach for that can really help you keep those outfit ideas feeling interesting and just a little bit different and another tip to mention as well actually is to make sure that you're not choosing the same shape of trousers along with choosing the same colors so for instance this particular pair of trousers are quite wide leg they've got that nice press crease down the front whereas some of the others I might have chosen would be pleated or I've got that herringbone texture so making sure that the rail looks cohesive together but different enough to be able to make those interesting outfit ideas is really key with the capsule wardrobe. Style tip six. Now in that same breath though, I do think it's really important that you're at least mindful of the colors that you're adding into the mix. Now I personally really love quite a neutral wardrobe. And if you look at this rail here, everything sort of sits together within the same color palette. I suppose the only thing that is a darker shade that stands out would be a terracotta blazer, but it's still along a similar train of thought. And as you can see, it would work with all those items that are on the rail, all the other items that I've shown you today. So if perhaps you're more into bright pops of color than I am, that's totally fine. It's each to their own. I would just advise getting it all out onto a rail so you can see all those colors together and just double check how those colors blend together. Is there enough outfit ideas you can make with said bright red top? And if the answer is more than four outfit ideas, I think you're on the right track. Style tip seven. Now stating the obvious a little bit here, but of course no winter capsule will is complete without at least one beautiful scarf. I personally tend to prefer the ones that are more like a blanket scarf. I think it gives me more versatility because there's so much width there I can literally keep wrapping around. It can change up your outfits a bit more as well rather than just something quite skinny. Or I tend to wear them as a shawl as well over some of my evening outfits. But this particular outfit that you're seeing here, um, I really liked actually. It was combined
combining both black and brown together, which is one of my favorite color combinations at the moment. I think it's one of those old hat myths that you shouldn't put black and brown together, but actually I really, really love it. I think it just makes those caramel tones sort of pop even more and look even more sumptuous and rich. So I do have a couple of different blanket scarves in my own collection. And I think this is one area where you could very safely invest. I mean, the scarf is never going to go out of fashion. So you will in theory have it forever. So I would save your pennies by the nicest quality you can afford because it will really show and become very, very handy within your outfit ideas. Style tip eight. Now I know this is a very easy trap to be able to fall into as we see all these new fashion trends coming out each season and it's almost like magpie moment, it's shiny things and you want to add it to basket. However, it's really, really important, especially if you're trying to create that perfect winter capsule wardrobe that's quite classic and timeless, is to remember what your real life is actually about. Because we don't sadly live on a catwalk and I don't know about you, but I'm certainly not out out every night of the week to have those kind of very glamorous outfit ideas. So thinking really carefully about your real life and what you need those outfits to tick a box for is really, really important. So for me, for instance, with this outfit idea, I've got a very classic pair of herringbone navy trousers and my smart casual kind of outfit would be to pair it with that bottle green shirt and a blazer over the top. And I think if I remember rightly, I had my high ankle boots on my feet there. Then being able to switch that same outfit idea for my day-to-day -day real life doing the school run, popping out to the shops, I would then stick on my trainers. I've changed out the handbag with that one just to tie in that little bit of white that I've got on my feet. And then I've added a scarf over the top to keep me a bit more toasty. So creating that foundational winter capsule wardrobe is all about really finding those pieces that are going to tick a box for your real life. Style tip nine. Now I hear the odd comment that a capsule wardrobe is boring and it absolutely, in my humble opinion, is anything but. And equally, you don't have to go with a palette of neutrals like I do. You could have great pops of color if you wish. Or as it happens, something really on trend as well that will equally be just as versatile as some of the other more classic pieces. So thinking about a couple of those different style tips in one actually with a skirt like this, which is particularly on trend, obviously with the metallics that we're going to be seeing an awful lot of for spring, summer 2024. However, this skirt is also ticking that equal parts stylish and practical at the same time because it's definitely the sort of skirt that I could dress up for the evening time with a pretty blouse or even the matching top that goes with it, nice pair of heels, or I could dress it down and wear that with knee-high boots and a nice knit on my top half. So you don't always have to go with those classic items. You can absolutely add a trend or two into the mix as well and that would really work nicely. But so long as you remember it has to tick that practical and versatile box at the same time. Style tip 10. Now jeans, of course, as we know, have always got that practical element to them. It's literally in their DNA. So finding that perfect hardworking pair of jeans is definitely worth doing for the perfect capsule wardrobe. And as you'll have seen throughout this video, I do tend to reach for my jeans an awful lot, but I would say if push came to shove and I had to choose my favorite, favorite ones, it would have to be this pair of straight leg jeans I'm holding, followed closely, I might add, by the crop ones that I'm wearing today. So when we think about finding that perfect hard-working pair of jeans, it's got to tick so many different boxes for your real life from working and play and home and possibly wearing them out out as well. In an ideal world I would like to add a couple of pairs of jeans into my own capsule wardrobe but if you want to keep things really tight and just go for one, I would suggest making sure you try this on with every single top and jumper you've already picked for your wardrobe. And if you're coming across a couple of items where you think, oh I don't think that really works with those jeans, they're probably probably not the right pair to add in. I would totally ignore what the fashion trends are saying about jeans and just solely go with what you feel most comfortable in. What feels like your own personal style? What do you feel really flatters your shape? That's the pair you should definitely add onto your rail. Style tip 11. Now you knew I had to go there. I cannot do a video really without mentioning quality over quantity wins every single time for me. And I'm imagining for lots of you as well, but it's definitely worth mentioning. I spent a lot of time and money on items throughout my twenties that I've definitely not even got in my wardrobe anymore. They were very much fast fashion throwaway pieces that wouldn't even be good enough to wipe your floor with. That's how bad the quality was. Thankfully these days I have definitely seen the error of my ways and opting 
aiming for quality every single time is absolutely the way to go. If it means you have to wait for two, three, six months, a year even to buy that perfect winter coat, I would absolutely say that that's worth it. Invest in those pieces that are going to truly, truly last and your outfit ideas, your wardrobe, your star, everything will really thank you for it in the process. Style tip 12. Now belts of course can be a really easy way to change up your look or update an outfit idea that's perhaps an old favourite. So if we look again here at that lovely caramel and black combination that I did before, this time I decided to add my belt over the top of the coat which I know is a little bit unusual but hopefully you agree that makes a really lovely and slightly different outfit idea to how I would normally style it and all I've actually done in reality is add a belt over the top. So try and think about your belts and your accessories in a different different way to how you would usually use them because actually you might just happen across a new favorite outfit idea in the process. Style tip 13. Now just a quick mention here about footwear and obviously in winter time I do tend to wear a lot more ankle boots or my knee high boots rather than some of my ballet flats that I might wear through spring summer. From a personal preference point of view I like these high ankle boots that I'm wearing. These are probably my go-to so they definitely deserve a spot in my own capsule wardrobe but a recent addition actually would be knee high boots which I'm finding really handy to mix and match into my own outfit ideas. I think the difference with that knee high boots for me was about finding that perfect pair that didn't feel too glam or look at me if you know what I mean. Some of those knee high boots can look a little bit too sexy for my liking not kind of the direction I want to go in with my own outfit ideas but these ones that I ended up going for in the end kind of tick the box for me in a really understated quite elegant way and style tip 14. Now in winter it's all about building up from those base layers and I think if you can get that right from the base layer up you're going to feel a whole lot more comfortable in that really cold weather outside. So here for example I've added a long sleeve crew neck top you could equally go for a thermal if you prefer and then I've layered my jumper over the top. The other element that I've added which I seem to reach for a lot actually is wearing my tights underneath. I have gone for my dotty tights there just to add a little bit of an unexpected twist. I know you're not going to see them with my knee high boots but just to give you an idea of the different tights you can add into the mix then I've added my jumper over the top and I decided to finish with my long accrue coat now I did actually think about this outfit with the shirling jacket that would have absolutely worked I wanted to keep the look quite refined and sophisticated and quite elegant looking I suppose so that's why I went with this one I think there's a bit of a running theme actually with the coats that I seem to have in my wardrobe are all quite elegant looking I suppose but I tend to dress them down if I'm wearing them with jeans but equally knowing that I can dress them up very easily with an outfit like this. So don't forget about layering both from a comfort and warmth point of view but also it's a really handy style tip to be able to change up that outfit idea and add a whole lot of depth and interest to your looks. So that's it, 14 different style tips of how you can create that perfect classic winter capsule wardrobe. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful. Do let me know which of those style tips, if not all of them, you're going to be trying out and as always a huge thank you to you for watching I'm always very very grateful for your support and I'm looking forward to seeing you in a couple of days with lots more styling advice and lots and lots of outfit ideas I shall see you then take care